Hey, welcome. In the last days, I worked a bit on the Lua engine of Darktable and got a solution for a nice integration of photomatics along with Darktable. I often do some HDR stuff and like to work on my photos in Darktable and photomatics along. Therefore, I created an export preset which calls photomatics under Wine and automatically loads the images back into Darktable. The images contain all changes made in Darktable, so you can denoise or crop them before Photomatics and after you've processed it. There you can easily work on the resulting HDR. Uh, I now have Darktable here in front of me and selected my desired images, uh, so these five. And on the right side, I now choose Export to Photomatics as my destination. Uh, just for performance reasons, I restricted here the resolution to 2048 on the longer side. Um, now let's export them and you'll see uh, Darktable is exporting the pictures now to a temporary location. And after that's done, it will call Photomatics under Wine. This will take a moment, just become. So now you see here Photomatics popping up. Uh, excuse me that everything is in German here, but I couldn't change uh, all of the interface to English just for the screencast. Yeah, now we can do our actual uh, HDR processing in Photomatics. Um, I'll just do this very quickly. Um, yeah, looks good. Um, for now, I just choose one of my presets. Well, let's say this one. Okay, now we process the image. Okay. Well, I often do this uh, bit of sharpening. Okay, and now we have the final image. Uh, we'll save it by Control S. a moment uh, on my computer to come up and the only thing you are required to do is uh, the tone mapped image needs to go in the same directory where the originals come from this is actually this one um, then we get a and somehow he doesn't like what I'm doing Ah, okay. Yeah, we saved it. Fine. Then we can quit now for the matrix. And uh, I configured uh, the preset like that, that after the photomatics uh, processing is done, the original folder will be re-imported to Darktable. So now we have here, you can see it uh, with the extension, that's uh, the tone mapped TIFF from now and we can go in here and change additional stuff. Okay, I think that's quite neat. Um, I've configured it using the Lua engine of Darktable and I've added one of these Lua options. That's the path where the executable for Photomatics can be found. So that's the only thing you need to configure yourself. Um, just a short look on the Lua itself, that's basically, the, the first part is uh, about re-importing my whole uh, library on every startup, that's from the Darktable tutorials. Um, the first function here is called, uh, if you first click on export in Darktable, it will just record where your images are located at the very moment. Um, then after the uh, pictures are exported from Darktable, we call Wine with the uh, path to your executable, like you configure it in your Lua options, and then we append all the image pairs to this command. Um, there's only one thing you should keep in mind, we need to replace every uh, blank in in the in the path we get from Darktable 
and we need to prefix uh, to to escape it because otherwise wine will not understand what we are doing here then we execute this command and this is actually calling the photomatics under wine it's it this this command will uh, exit once you quit photomatics so you cannot leave photomatics open for the uh, at the moment and after that we re-import the original path and we are done and the rest of the script is just registering uh, this new storage function to Darktable. Okay, so put this into your Lua RC and I will put it somewhere in the comments uh, to the video so you can download this script if you want. Yeah, and I hope this helps you. I think it's quite interesting to see how you can integrate uh, a pure Linux uh, program, so Darktable, with a completely, uh, completely Windows program uh, using just Wine and some little script. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, please just uh, drop me a comment and I will tr uh, try and see what I can do about it.